YouTube, welcome back to the channel. For today's game, is March 30th, and today's matchup is Gio Gonzalez against Aaron Seivel. I think that's how you pronounce it. Anyway, it's a three-game series at Cleveland, so I hope you guys are enjoying. And if you do, hit the like button and subscribe if you're new. Thanks a lot for watching. Under the lights this evening as we get you set for another edition of Baseball on the Show. So here's Yuan Moncada, and we are set for baseball here this evening. Night for the White Sox. The third infield in the overshift Yuan. here. Now the pitch underway here in the Monday opener as the game's first pitch misses for ball one. That evens it up one and one. Now the pitch. Two balls, one strike. On the ground for Hernandez at second base. Reined in. And there's one down now. So the bases are empty with one man gone. And up next, it'll be Tim Anderson. Breaking ball that time that misses out of the zone. Anderson takes the swings from the right-handed batter's box, but he's one of those rare hitters that actually thrives facing same-handed pitching. One of the very best in the game, as a matter of fact, in that type of matchup. Yeah, Matty, he does not leak with that front side. He keeps that shoulder tucked, stays inside the baseball, and it gives him every opportunity to hammer the fastball and stay on that breaking stuff. And that's the second out. Stepping up now, Jose Abreu. First chance for him here in the top of the first with nobody on. And he just gets a piece there as this is chopped foul. The 0-1 pitch. And he powers a cut fastball by him that time, and he's in charge now, nothing in two. And the cutter got him swinging. Strike three, and the side is retired. Settling in now, Cesar Hernandez. He'll lead things he off here in the bottom half of the first. The pitch. And a fastball misses here to start the at-bat. It's 1-0. and Bottom part of the zone, a good changeup gets the call. 2-1 and one now to the Tribe's leadoff man. Even count, two balls and two strikes. Got him. So stepping in, Oscar Mercado, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Now here's the pitch. Drops in a strike to start the at-bat, nothing and one going to be a long day if he executes like this punching tickets right out of the gate behind 0-2 now Mercado a native Floridian he's in his rookie year here at the big league level and another foul ball hard hit ball to second fielded cleanly on to first and there were two down Striding in for the Indians, Francisco Lindor. No one aboard for him, and two gone here in the first. Gonzalez looks in. Here's his offering. And a good pitch on the inside corner for strike one. One of my favorite pitches in the game right there, the old Greg Maddox equalizer. Started at the front hip and bring it back. Behind 0-2 now. Indian shortstop behind 1-2 and two in the count. If I'm in the box, you take a step out right here. Take a deep breath after that high fastball. You've got to be leery of him burying something in the dirt. Two balls and two strikes to count to Francisco Lindor. Now he drops a changeup on him. Strike three called and a great pitch there to retire the side. Edwin Encarnacion now. He'll lead it off here to begin the second. The designated hitter, Edwin He's ready. Here's the first offering. Now a ball hit high in the air. Deep down the line and left. Hooking just a little. Onto the home run porch and gone. Wow, talk about a guy getting hot, right? Hits a bomb. Hit one yesterday. 
usually when he gets hot, he starts to hit them in bunches. And this could be the beginning of a very, very good hot streak. At the plate now, Eloy Jimenez. As he'll come up empty there as he misses the off-speed pitch for strike one. And a pitch in the dirt as he lays off. It's one and one. Now here's the pitch. No outs, nobody on. Rounded down the third baseline. Ramirez is up with it. Throw on to first, so a good comeback there as he gets the first out of the inning. That is good. Now at the plate, Luis Robert. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Robert. Here's the pitch. Nope. Now the 1-0. Turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. Ready to deal. Here's the 1-1. One, one. And he misses 2-1. and one. one out. Nobody on. And he can't catch the corner here, so he's behind 3-1. and one. Well, this next pitch is a big one. The last thing you want to do is give a free pass to a guy that can run like this. He's a real burner out there on the base paths. And it's fouled away. Now a ball pulled hard but fouled off to the left. Another payoff pitch. And he can only battle for so long as he's finally set down here after an eight pitch at bat. In now the power hitting outfielder Nomar Mazzara. Hoping to stay hot. He had a couple of hits, including a home run yesterday. Way inside with that one. A pretty easy take there. Slapped hard the opposite way. Santana is there, and he'll make the catch to retire the side. Leading off the inning, Fran Reyes, as they'll look to get something going here and even this game up. First offering on its way. Reyes, once a member of the San Diego Padres organization, he was acquired via trade last year. I know he'd tell you he'd like to be playing a little bit better, but I think it's as advertised for this ball club right now. I think the manager is getting exactly what they expected. Count is one and two now. Now the pitch. Skied into straightaway right. Headed after it is Mazzara. He gets to it and makes the catch for the first down. So now Carlos Santana, hitless in four tries in the ball game yesterday. First pitch of the at bat on its way. And a high strike there, 0 and 1. I'm absolutely shocked he took that pitch right there. Right in the wheelhouse, low 90s heater. That's one you gotta let go on. And this is into the alley and ought to be good for extra bases. And he's in there easily at second with a one-out double. That is good. The third baseman. Into the box, Jose Ramirez. As the first pitch to him is a changeup that can't find the zone. It's ball one. In there, and it's even at one. One and two now as that one's fouled off. Open to send him packing. Pitch on its way. And that one got a piece of him. Now at the plate, Domingo Santana in head-to-head -head meetings with Gio Gonzalez. He's gone two for eight. Below the knees, one ball, no strikes. This is on the ground over to first. Great stop by Abreu. Relay to first in time. And just like that, this side is retired. Here's the catcher, Yasmani Grandal. He'll lead things off here in this one-run contest. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. Heading out towards shallow right. Luplo is there. One pitch, one out. Up next for Chicago, Leori Garcia. He was not much of a factor at the plate during yesterday's win as he took an 0 for 4 line. Out in front of it, strike one. 
The wind up and the 0 1. Swing and a blooper to the right side. Here comes the right fielder, but he won't get there. It falls in. Now back third base. Next to bat will be the Cuban import, Yohan Moncada. And it's belted high and deep into right center. And goodbye. This one ain't coming back. That'll bring up the shortstop, Tim Anderson. As the first pitch to him is swung on and missed for strike one. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Now a ball lined to the left side. But this is a foul ball. Into the windup. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. And this is a strike three call. Oh, caught a break there. Two away. How about it? Ready now for the White Sox. Jose Abreu looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at-bat. Swing and a miss as he was way in front of that one. And now a curveball that bounces up to the plate. It's one and one. Now here's the pitch. Fly ball out toward right field. Luplo is under it, and he makes the catch for out number three. Leading off the inning, Jordan Luplo, and they'll need him to get something going here. Hey, we're still in the early stages in this one. They're only down by a couple of runs. But it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. One ball, no strikes to count. The 1 0. To 1 and 2 now. The pitch. And they really bunch him up on that one as he swings and misses for the first out. Digging in, Roberto Perez. Here's the first pitch to him. Grounded up the first baseline, but a foul ball here, 0 and 1. Here's the pitch. And he misses with it, 1 and 1. 1 and 1. Liner towards second, but this is going to be hauled in out there at second base for out number two. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Cesar Hernandez. He went down swinging to start the home first. Drops in a strike to start the at bat, nothing and one. Barely able to make contact, down 0 2 now. It's inside and low. It's a ball and two strikes. Hey, the fish ain't biting there on that 0 2 breaking ball, but you got to be careful because this pitcher might throw him another one. Now another 1 2. And he gets under this one as the ball is skied into very shallow right. Garcia will put this one away, and the side is retired. Stepping into the box, Edwin Encarnacion, as we begin the top of the fourth. One of the keys to securing a win, they want to keep the pressure on and try to build that lead as much as they can moving into the later innings. Strike one to start the at-bat. Ball one as he lays off below the zone. Encarnacion. 37 years old. His contract is set to expire at the end of this season, so he may end up hitting the market this winter. You know, Matty, I know he's in the final year of his contract, but he's playing to expectations, to be honest with you. I know he, need, he wants to turn it up a little bit, though, as he approaches the end of the season and make that salary push as he heads towards free agency again. And a changeup swung on and missed for the now first down. Number 74. The pitch. 
And that misses low and away, ball one. Two balls and no strikes to the White Sox left fielder. That's where he wants that sinker to end up, but that was a nice job of laying off. Mm, much too quick on the trigger there. It's two and one. And that one finds the target on the outside corner. Two and two. Now here it comes. Soft grounder left side. He's got it. And a bit of a high throw that time, but no problem over there at first as they record the out. Digging in, Luis Robert. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Sometimes you just got to tip your cap to the guy on the mound. He's getting paid to try and get you out as well. Anytime it gets up there, north of seven, eight pitch ABs, sometimes it just comes down to pure execution. Let's see if he makes the adjustment right here. Going to need to make a little bit of an adjustment with a slider release and at least tempt the hitter that it's going to be a strike. The one, two. Strike three called, and the inning is over. Digging in to try it again, Oscar Mercado. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Hey, this isn't exactly the way you'd like to draw it up. Not throwing a lot of first pitch strikes, but the bottom line is he's getting outs. Waved at and missed, and he's behind 0-2. Hey, he's got great feel for that pitch right there. He can throw it anytime he wants for a strike. This is line to left. But so that'll stay in the park as it's off the left field wall. And he is in the second base with a leadoff double. The batter, not your stop. So here's Francisco Lindor now. As the first pitch to him is off the plate for a ball 1-0. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Sent on the ground out to second. Scooped up. And that's out number one. In now, Fran Reyes. He flew out in his last at bat. First offering on its way. Ground ball sent back up the middle. Anderson brings it in. Throw to first is in time, but meanwhile, the runner is in to score. So striding in, Carlos Santana. It was a double for him in his first turn at the plate. Well, he got a good pitch to hit last time up. Looked for it up in the zone and didn't miss it. Those are the pitches you only get maybe once an A-B, maybe once a game, maybe once a week. So he certainly capitalized on it last time. Fouled off again, and now he's in a one and two hole. Another one sent foul. Bases are empty here with two men out. Fouled away. Hey, have an A-B right here. I know it's frustrating the heck out of the pitcher. You keep fouling these pitches off, maybe one misses over the heart of the plate. Chopper to short. Throw over to Abreu is in time, and with it, the side is retired. Into the box now. Nomar Mazzara comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ballgame. Now the pitch. First pitch of the inning is taken downstairs for a ball. It's 1 and 0. Two balls and no strikes. The count to Nomar Mazzara. Now the 2 0 home. Swung on and fouled as it looked to make it all the way up into the concourse area. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. Running hard. He's digging for second. And he will coast into second with a leadoff double. The back. The catcher. And here's the switch hitting catcher, Yasmani Grandal. And this one's in the dirt. And no advance. It's ball one. One oh home. Mazzara stands at second with no outs.
line toward right center. Catch made out there in right center as the runner will tag from second. The relay throw, and he is in there. Ready for another chance. Leori Garcia, he singled and scored in his first appearance in this one. From the stretch. Well, that sinker is normally a really important pitch for him, but it really hasn't been effective so far. It just looks kind of flat. Three to one our score as we play inning number five. Hit hard on the ground to the right. And they'll extend their lead even further as the runs in to score from third, and it's a four to one game. The battle. The third base. So now to the plate, Johan Moncada, as he'll go after the first pitch to him and comes up empty at strike one. Hey, it's been a little bit of a rough outing for this guy in this one so far. And one thing you can look at if you want to get really picky, less than 60% of his first pitches have been for strikes. Now in the box, Tim Anderson. He started out the evening 0 for 2 so far. Anderson. First pitch coming, here it is. Four runs, five hits, and no errors so far for the White Sox. Grounded to short, reined in. The easy way to Hernandez to retire the side. Set now for the bottom of the fifth. Stepping into the box, Jose Ramirez. He was drilled by a pitch his last time up. Yeah, Matty, you're not lying. Last time up, squared right in the back. Hopefully it doesn't stiffen up. I want to see if he can get through something right here. That elevated fastball right there, that is the biggest change in the game today for me. When I first came up, a lot of guys working at Greg Maddox east to west. And he got him. So digging in now, Domingo Santana. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Liner towards second. And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. The right fielder, number eight. Stepping in now, Jordan Luplo. As he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. He's 0 for 1 thus far. And he takes a cold strike one. Fought off at the plate as it's chopped foul. Fifth inning here in a four to one ball game. A curveball hit right back at him. One there. Throw back to Abreu. They get them both, and the side is retired. Hunter Wood is out from the bullpen now as he'll make his first appearance here on the season. All set for the start of the inning. Ready for another shot now. Jose Abreu. No hits to this point. First offering on its way. The first Jose. That's the exact spot to lean on as a reliever. As a hitter, you just have to tip your cap and look for the next one. A swinging strike, and now it's 0-2. Wood has proven to be a guy that throws strikes coming out of the pen and doesn't walk a lot of batters. Boy, to every manager and pitching coach, Matty V, they love to bring a guy in that they know one thing. He's going to throw strikes and not beat himself, and this guy is certainly not afraid to attack the strike zone. Filthy changeup that time, but he's able to make contact, and he'll get another chance. The 0-2 once more is taken for ball one. After multiple pitches were fouled off, it gets a little disappointing as a pitcher. So you think, say, I'm going to throw one way off the plate and see if he'll chase it. Didn't happen. To two balls and two strikes now. Well, this is just one of those grinder at bats right here. He worked the count even to two and two, and he's made him throw a lot of pitches. Here it comes. And he'll finally just wear him down as this one swung on and missed for the first out. Edwin Encarnacion to the plate now. He comes in one for two with that home run he hit earlier. Pulls this one in the air out to left. Santana is in his tracks now. And that's out number two. At the plate, Elo Jimenez. He's 0 for 2 thus far in this one. 
Outfield shaded a bit to left center the first pitch. Fastball too high to start him out here 1 and 0. High and deep to left. This one's got plenty of distance and it's gone as they add still another. Yeah, he took care of the three and four hitters. They might have thought that danger had passed. Well, he was wrong. The number five man takes him deep and out of here. It's always tough to get through the teeth of the lineup completely unscathed, and that's evident right here. In now, Luis now Robert. The center fielder. As he'll go after the first pitch and bounce Whoa. it into foul territory. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. The 0 and 1 delivery. And here's a ball hit in the air. And no one will track it down. The wind up and the 0 2 pitch. And he'll try and tempt him with one in the dirt, but he'll hold back here. It's one and two. Well, that's a smart miss there. Sometimes guys will chase it down there, especially when they're in protect mode on an 0 and 2 count. Count all the way full to the White Sox center fielder. Got to be frustrating for the guy out on the mound trying to get out of this inning. Had him down 0-2. Now he's worked the count back full. Still one pitch. And the throw to first is there. The inning is over. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Digging in now. Roberto Perez hit it hard but lined out in his first half bat. Yeah, he hit it hard. That's all you can ask. You can't control the results sometimes, Matty. Just unlucky with the placement. Fly ball out toward left center field. Robert is there, and he has it for the first out. So striding forward now, Cesar Hernandez. It was a fly out for him in his last trip. Strike taken up in the zone. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Robert is there, two gone. At the plate, Oscar Mercado. He's one for two in this one. Here comes the first pitch. Now this pitch is popped up. Playable for Grandal behind the plate. And he will indeed make the play in foul territory to retire the side. Coming to the plate now, Nomar Mazzara, one for two with a double on his line thus far. Here's the pitch. First pitch of the inning is taken low and away for a ball. It's 1-0. This one's flared off to the right side. Hernandez is there, one away. Stepping up to the plate, Yosmani Grandal. He's hitless in his two at-bats so far. Just lucky to make contact on that one as it's chopped foul. Now the pitch. One ball, one strike. They haven't played perfectly as it's hit on the ground. And he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. Ready now, Leori Garcia. Couple of singles to his credit thus far. Garcia. First pitch of the at bat. Good fastball down around the knees there, taken for a strike. And he falls behind 0 and 2. Nothing in two count, and the pitch. The next 0 2 pitch to a misses outside. He wasn't even close to swinging right there. That was a stone cold take. Well below the knees, laid off on the change up there. Swing and a miss for strike three. Pulled the string on him that time, and the inning is over. And that'll bring in the switch hitting Francisco Lindor to try and get something started in the home half of the seventh. First pitch coming. Here it is. Bottom part of the zone. A good changeup gets the call. Hey, this guy's been throwing a gem so far. We're moving on later into this game, and he's right at about league average for first pitch strikes. 
And that one skips up over the wall for a ground rule double. And that'll bring in Fran Moraes. As he'll take a look at ball one. 0 for 2 for him to this point. And that changeup makes him jump. A swing and a miss. Just off the outside that time. Laid off for a ball. Well above the letters with the fastball that time. Man, this guy's had their number all game long. Up, down, in and out. He's pitching very well. He's set. Here's the three and two. Hard liner, but picked up on a hop. And there's one away. One out now for the Indians in their seventh. And that'll bring in one of the best on-base percentage players in the game, Carlos Santana. Off the plate and low here, ball one. Seventh inning here in a 5-1 to one ball game. Santana in front with a 2-0 and o count. Well, this is a spot you'd like to be in. 2-0, good hitter. He's going to turn it loose right here. Anderson scoops it up. Throw pulls the first baseman off the bag, and both the runners are going to be safe. Now batter. So following the error, it's now runners at first and second. And standing in is the veteran third baseman, Jose Ramirez. 1-0 and oh the count. Now a ball grounded to short. This could be two. There's one. On to first. It's a double play. As their woes continue, the inning is over. Dominic Leon has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Number 53. Back to the top of the White Sox lineup now and stepping in, Johan Moncada. Hit the ball pretty well in his last at-bat, but it resulted in a line out. On to the eighth now as the first pitch is a fastball that's looked at for ball one. With this one almost in books, the story was clearly the long ball. What are your thoughts on this offense, fellas? Well, Matty V, I don't know what your thoughts are, d Roll, but boy, when the weather starts to warm up and the ball starts jumping out like this, it's clear that the pitchers need to start making better pitches. Yeah, just great approach. No one really chased today. Really stayed staunch on, uh, on their ability to get that pitcher to come into the heart of the plate, and they did damage with it. Throw on to first in time, so the leadoff man is set down to open up inning number eight. Now batting, Tim Anderson. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. A ball and no strikes. On a grade school swing there, it's one and one. Hey, newsflash, think he was guessing, boys? Because that was an ugly swing right there. The one one. Two balls, two strikes, a crucial count for both pitcher and hitter. So, Dan, what was your approach on the mound in that count? Do you still pitch for the strikeout here? Action pitch right here, 2-2. Two, two. The last thing you want to do is to fall behind the count, 3-2. Got him swinging on the fastball there. Tim Anderson is sent packing for the second out of the inning. And that is in there for a two-out base knock. It's a potentially big two-out hit as Edwin Encarnacion will get to bat here. Into the box now, Edwin Encarnacion, as he'll swing and miss at a first pitch slider at strike one. And 0 and 2 count to Edwin Encarnacion. Slider whiffed on for strike three, a great pitch to put an end to the inning. Bottom of inning number eight set to go. Now to the plate, Domingo Santana. A hit in two tries for him so far. First delivery to him on the way. Takes this the other way to right. And a base hit. So he goes after the first pitch he sees, and he's on to open up the inning. At the plate now, Jordan Luplo. Line drive to center field. Robert is right there, one down. In now for Cleveland, Roberto Perez. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. He'll start him here with a changeup, but it's taken for ball one. Hey, he threw that pitch with a purpose to get a double play. Good job to let it go by, though, as a hitter. Down the first baseline to second for one. On to first, and it's another double play. The fourth they've hit into tonight. My word. 
New inning set to get underway. Digging in, Eloy Jimenez. It was a solo shot for him in his last at bat. Here's the first pitch to him. One zero. Fly ball out toward left center field. Mercado is there. One quick out to start inning number nine. Now batter. Stepping in, Luis Robert. 0 for 3 with a couple of strikeouts Robert. for him to this point in the ballgame. First pitch coming. Here it is. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Long run for the center fielder. He gets there, and that's the second out. Digging in once again, Nomar Mazzara. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. He's set. Here it comes. And he fouls this one off. Two out, nobody on. Now a fastball off the plate away. A ball and a strike. And this one's up around the eyes. Two and one. He's fallen behind now, three and one. Yosmani Grandal would be next. And this is taken for a ball. He walked him. And the Sox have themselves a two-out base runner. Into the box, Yosmani Grandal. He could really use a knock here, 0 for 3 in the game so far. Swing and a miss, but he's right on here. One strike. Here's a fastball that crowds him a bit, and it's one and one. From the belt, the pitch. Two out with the man at first. Fouled off. Swing and a liner. Foul. Now a fastball, but that's easy to lay off, and it's back to even at two and two. When a pitcher's close to working through a quick inning, that's when you really need to grind out some at-bats. He's done a good job of that, and that's really big when you're hitting towards the bottom of the order. So now they'll have two men in scoring position following the two-out double. Now that second base, Leori. To the plate now, Leori Garcia, as he sends it on the ground to first. And the two-out threat will not come to pass as the inning is over. So the lineup flips over and digging in, Cesar Hernandez. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. First delivery to him on the way. And that fastball is taken but catches the outer third. Hey, there's an old saying in baseball, you need to take a strike in this spot. Well, he got one there. Now he just needs to find a way to get on. And he'll just fight this one off as it's chopped foul. The one-two. Locks him up for strike three. Standing in, Oscar Mercado. He's working on a one for three thus far. Oscar. Mercado. Taken, but that catches the inside part of the plate. Oh. And it's one and one. Oh. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. All even now, two and two. Three and two to the Indian center fielder. One of the things you want to do with a starter, get that pitch count up. Here's another productive at bat as this count now gets to three balls and two strikes. Another full count pitch home. He's at the knees and called strike three. And that'll bring in the switch hitting Francisco Lindor. And he needs to make something happen. They're down to their final out here in the ninth. Maddie, he checks every box. Charisma, smile, hits from both sides of the plate with pop, defense, you name it. Nope, GM's dream right here. One one. Count now a ball and a strike. 
One ball and two strikes to count. Bases are empty here with two men out. Last strike now for Cleveland. Lofted in the air out toward right center. In comes Mazzara. Makes the catch, and that's the ball game. Yeah, and sometimes you just need a guy to go out there and battle. It doesn't have to be pretty all the time, but just good enough to get the job done. Well, this guy, he was a heck of a lot better than that, going the entire nine innings, saving his bullpen, and getting the win. Tonight's game comes to an end, 5-1 to one, the final score. The Chicago White Sox took the lead in the second inning and rode that until the very end. Gio Gonzalez gets the win on the mound, his first of the year, turning in a very strong, complete game effort. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskers, and you've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com. Our final line score tonight, first for the victorious White Sox, five runs.